Hi guys and welcome back to my channel with me, Crystal. If you're new here to my channel, I do lifestyle videos that give you a glimpse into the life of us. I want to give these videos a thumbs up. It really helps to let me know what you like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So this video today, it's going to take place over a couple of days as mom lives, we do that. It, we can't always get it done in one day, but um, we're going to take you through the walk as you see. And then uh, we are also going to do some uh, decluttering, organizing, some cleanup, and you see all of that. Um, and like I said, this happens over a few days. This walk, I know I've shown it to you guys before, but I really enjoyed taking this walk and I wanted to bring you guys with me instead of just with pictures but with some video as well. wait for you guys to see this when it's all lit up. It's just been too cold at night. These kind of remind me of almost like little dew drops. at the end of it, but continues along this way, and they have all the lights up. It's going to be so beautiful. I'm sure they have it on already, but then bonus, the Greek. I don't know if you can tell, but these are already kind of lit up. When it's warmer out at night, not 20 degrees, we'll be bringing our sun. And you'll get to see more. You'll get to see the pretty sparkles. So it extends all the way down to, oh, well you couldn't see it because of how much it cur curved around, but it curves all the way down to this curve. Then it hops, sort of, right where those cars are parked and you see more that it goes up along that. Hey. 
So as you can see, we're in the process of reorganizing and decluttering. This is actually a bin of my clothes that I can't go through just yet because I'm still going through losing weight from my pregnancy. I think that is a bin of cords. We're using suitcases for clothes that we are going to keep in case, like this one, for example, is uh, my pregnancy clothes. Figure why give those away when I get pregnant again because I don't want, I want my son to have a second kid, uh, um, a second uh, a sibling. These are my boyfriend's clothes that he's working into fitting back into. Is fall and Halloween stuff. We're gonna take that to storage. Christmas stuff. I can't see it, but it's because that's still up. We're gonna take that down today, put everything down in here, and then take it to our storage as well. Then we have the mess in here. We have to go through these canned goods, see if, there's if they are expired. If they are not, we're gonna donate those because we won't be using them. That, I believe, is my craft stuff. We tried to write that on there, as you can see. More Christmas stuff. And just all these things back here. We are working on reorganizing, rearranging, putting things where they need to go. Since we got a storage unit, we're gonna put all the holiday things in there and this will be used for things so we can stock up on like toilet paper and um, other non-perishable -per non -perishable goods. I already emptied this out. I'm getting ready to empty this out. Also, we added a new container um, for the Christmas stuff so I could have my ornaments organized and all in one spot. I'm gonna see if it works. It's, it's not very firm like a regular plastic bin so we'll see if I like it and with the tree as you can well, obviously ornaments are off still some things are on it um, we're working on it so more of what we have done to change out our son's bedroom that black shelving used to be in the front room for our shoes and now it's been repurposed first it was repurposed as this toy bin but then I got this so now it's been repurposed as you can see as that for now until I get one of those nets to put up in the corner so we can just stick them all up in so here you see we finally took a lot of the stuff away that whole pile is gone of course we replaced it with some other stuff but that's kind of a in the meantime so all of this stuff you see here I'm gonna see if I can spring clean it, downsize it, declutter it. So here we go. All right, so in one of the other portions of this, I said that this is the bag of stuff for my snowboarding gear. And after I actually looked in here, I realized, no, it is not. I have some of my snowboarding gear. Then I also have other things like shoes, but I'm not even sure if I'm gonna get the chance to wear them. And then hiking boots and stuff like that. So things like this can go in the storage unit we bought. All right, so I need to clean the top of this off, but this is one of the containers that's empty. Let's see what of any of this, probably the sacks or something, I can fit in there. Let's see. So I'll definitely say that this felt tedious and I know I had been putting it off for months but once I really started getting in there and doing the arranging and organizing and everything it felt so good and so much better to be able to downsize it so much like I did.
All right, so after having, all right, so after, ever, after having gone through the bags, I just downsized from this big wide bag, which I don't know if you saw it, but now I have this one bag of all of the, this was actually from our baby shower. So we're gonna reuse these if we can. If I don't get to reuse them in a certain period of time, then I'll just go ahead and donate or recycle them or something. Then we have our bag of just any random miscellaneous stuff, birthdays and such. I put it in the Star Wars bag as a visual reminder. There's nothing particularly special about them, so they are multi-purposeful. And we have downsized all of my Christmas bags into this tiny little thing. I say tiny because it's not the big one that I was using. I have some of them folded and wrapped. Well, wrapped by that, I just mean it's wrapped and that's it. But I have them downsized and folded. And then these are the bags that I took some of them out of. And they're not for gift giving, they're for when you're shopping and whatnot. So I took those out, period. So whether I get to put any of those in there or not, I'm not sure, but I downsized. So I'm very proud of that and I'm very happy for that. So as you can see, I went ahead and rearranged the organization again because I found as I was putting the bags in the uh, in the container, they worked better in a different arrangement. So this is what I'm doing and because I, I was very determined to use this container for the bags. All right, so that last little thing I'm sure you saw, I went ahead and consolidated it more and differently. So now can't really see it. I have fully utilized this plastic container. I was very determined to be able to use this container and uh, I have consolidated my bags and they are my sacks and they are now in this thing which I will wipe off here in a little bit. Now we're just going to put things on the shelves neat and arranged even though they're going to go in a storage. And since everything is put up in a way like they're supposed to be, we are now sweeping, finally. I am so happy we were able to get this cleared out and that there is a footpath back here because there wasn't, as you saw a few moments ago. All right, it is now cleaner, decluttered. Those are my sacks right here are some Halloween things that are for the yard. I put them here. They were there on the other side of the carpet cleaner. Now I can put the carpet cleaner back here and the cat's food. So we actually have a walking path now. There's more stuff going to be put away, but this, we can actually walk back here now. So when it comes to our laundry, I definitely find it is easier to try to keep things separate. I have mesh bags to use for various things. Um, even though we go to a laundromat because we don't have a washer and dryer in our apartment, as you, as you saw, it would be in the storage area that we could put it. Um, it's just easier for me versus throwing it all in one big pile, sorting it, and doing it that way. At least it is that way, it's that easier, geez, that way since we use a laundromat. I have a feeling I could probably do it differently if we had a laundry, if we had a washer and dryer in our home, but this is how I do it. So with my son's stuff, I go ahead and put in a mesh bag his tiny little socks and his bibs. And then with his bibs, I keep them Velcroed because I found if I don't, of course the Velcro gets stuck on everything else and it'll start ruining things. And then We'll move on here in just a moment and you'll see that when it comes to my boyfriend's, I keep all of his socks in a mesh bag as well and some of my delicates in a mesh bag. And those are the things that are, it makes it easier for me to get laundry done in a more timely manner.
I don't know if you guys with babies, well, those of you who still have babies that are going into toddlers, um, I don't know how you take care of clean bibs um, at the end of the day, but when it comes to my son's clean bibs, I go ahead and I kind of fold them and then I do an alternating stack. That way, one side doesn't get thick, the other side doesn't, then it tips over and all that good stuff. And then with his socks, as you can see, I don't actually fold them, I just pair them together. They're too small to fold, so I just pair them together and set them nicely together. So I went ahead and changed it up. My son was still sleeping, I was fortunate for that. So I put him in his room so he can continue sleeping and then I changed it up as you can see and went into our bedroom. So I had a bigger surface to work with for putting our folded laundry on and having all the different piles. As I was folding things quite particularly, um, I started to wonder how many of you fold things in a particular way, whether it feels like it's OCD or if it's just a habitual thing, a way you prefer. How many of you guys fold things a certain way? Let me know below. For those of you who stayed this long, thank you so much for not clicking out. Click the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any new content, and we'll see you soon. So this is our recycling. These couple boxes are recycling. 
in the bag I'm gonna try and either give away donate something some old cat food stuff and underneath that is a box of things that I need to find a food bank to give that away because it's stuff that not expired but we will not use so let's get that done next and finally a little bit of vacuuming it may not be a whole bunch in the whole room but it definitely was enough to make a difference 